Today I effed up by booking a flight home with a layover in Japan. I just spent one and a half months in Thailand and it was time to come home. So I booked a flight with Japan Airlines to JFK in New York with two stops, one in Osaka and one in Tokyo. Since all flights were operated by JAL, I assumed when booking that my bags would be checked all the way through. At Bangkok Airport, I was told that I needed to get my bags in Osaka and recheck them, no problem. On the way to Osaka, my flight attendant handed me two cards to fill out. One of them asked if I had any criminal convictions. I was arrested three years ago for a small amount of grass and paid a fine and I did not want to lie to them. So I checked yes. Here is where the poop storm begins, I get to immigration so I can go get my bags, and she double checks with me to ensure that I meant to check yes on the box asking about criminal conviction. She asks me about the conviction and I tell her it is for marijuana. She starts laughing and speaking with the guy next to her, fills out a form, and puts my passport in a folder with the form. A man comes over and escorts me to a room to ask me questions with a translator on speaker. He explained to me that it is impossible to let me in the country. I told him I don't really need to enter and it is fine if an employee can get my bag checked for me and I will stay in transfers. He then explains that he cannot allow me to fly to Tokyo. He says that since they cannot verify what I claim, they must confirm with the American embassy which can take a long time. They then make me sign a form basically withdrawing my landing so I have to go back to Bangkok. So here I am, six hours later after landing, waiting for another flight back to Bangkok so I can book another flight to go home. Minus $700 glad I learned I am not welcome this way instead of booking a vacation here in the future. That's what I get for being honest. TLDR, booked a flight home with connections in Japan and needed to recheck my bags. Was asked about my criminal history for immigration and answered honestly about my one marijuana charge. Unbeknownst to me, Japan does not allow you to enter the country no matter what type or how long ago the drug charge was. Am currently stuck in immigration while I wait for a 9pm flight back to Bangkok. Am out $700, and waiting 13 hours.